Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and happy 4th of July. Yes, sir. Everybody's shooting firecrackers. We're in here shooting horses. That's right. Shooting video. I'd rather, do, I'd rather do this than be out there shooting fireworks. <laughs> Me too, buddy. It's, it's yeah. time. Well, you do your thing, and then we'll get this going. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KB Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip. And then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. The Tennessee walking horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee walking horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee walking horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee walking horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I do want to send our condolences to the Baum family. Yes. I uh, always enjoyed watching Miss Jean That's ride, right. buddy. I mean, she, Bobby, Bobby Hugh did great with her. Did a wonderful job with her. Yeah, she's a sweet lady. Yeah. All right. Next week, this week, we're kind of cooling it. Yes. The Cornersville is next week at the Bobby McDaniels Ring in Cornersville, Tennessee. You can contact K McDaniels at 931-993-3238. Start times at 6 p.m. And Mr. Scott Beatty is going to mark the card. Scott's a good judge. Yes. And we got Heart of Champions Horse Show, July the 15th. That's located at Jernigan Field in Wartrace, Tennessee. Contact Marcy Allison, 931-639-2518. Start time is 5 p.m. That's on Saturday. And Link Webb will mark the cards. Uh, that's going to be a good show. Yes, that's sir. for a good cause. It's yes. 
called the Heart of Champions, but it's actually for the cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, that, that, anytime you do things for the youth, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I'm going to I'm going to have to call a lot of the sponsors for the youth uh, education show because it we're trying to come up with something that will be really really nice for everybody as far as uh how to spend the funds. Yes. And I think Mark Fair and I have come up with a good idea but I'm going to I'm going to have to check with a few. And I think I want to tell everybody one thing. Happy birthday, Allie Joe. Happy birthday. That's it, buddy. <laughs> Allie Joe, happy birthday. She is uh, eight years old. You'd never know it, but I, just, I had to do that. I had to do it. I also want to remind everybody we have marked down the jewelry again. So uh, anytime that you see a, an item that you like, let me know. Because we are going to try to uh, end it all. Just get rid of everything we can. I told old Alan Price the other night, I said, I still got them tie tacks. He's been trying to get them tie tacks <laughs> for five years. And he, he ain't come up with the money yet. He's too tight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He got but, it, but he just don't but, want to come up with it. But he'll go to a restaurant. But if you've seen the food he eats, oh, yeah. he, he's proud of it. Takes pictures of it and posts <laughs> it on Facebook. All right, let's watch some victory passes from the Belfast Lions Club show. Right there's the Queen and Laney Leverett. Lead line class. 647 the number. They've won two in a row. They won, yeah, they have. They have done good. All them kids do good in, the, in that class right there. They, they are. You, you, can't, you can't beat any of them. The parents, they get out there. That's right. They walk them. They get in there with it. And he's teaching the kids. On That's the main thing. Mm -hmm. That little girl right there has learned a lot. Look how she's holding the reins and looking up between them horses here. And here comes the Texas Cowboy Hawk Leverett. Yeah. He's on Texas Pete. Lane says, Hawk, we're fixing to take a whipping, but we're going. <laughs> <laughs> That's good for these kids. Oh, yeah, so it is. Let them get started. Here you go, Georgia, Florida line and Robert Dorch. Show pleasure, amateur winner. That's another nice horse right there. Yeah, he's, it is. He's consistent. Sure is. A big horse, too. Good job, Robert. And here she is, Allie Jo, birthday girl. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, we was, I've talked to several people about her and the way, the statement that she makes uh, is really something. It's, a, it's really good for our industry that we've got a, a young lady like this. Yes. And, and the young man too, I'm not just, Harping on Alley Joe, it just all these kids, the Beasley girls, Eli. We we got so many of them now that that they're hard to keep up with. Right here is one of my favorite too. DeJano and Daniel Schmidt for Larry and Elsie West. But Daniel just sets a good horse. Yeah. Period. Okay, the, the champ, Eli Cunningham. Here's another one. Oh yeah, Eli, he really rides in horses now. He's Eli 
by Cunningham. Shelbyville showing a champ to the blue in the class for Variety 17 and under. Oh, Eli, he just like to get in there and show. Oh, yeah. A champ with Eli Cunningham. But it's a pleasure to show these kids, I'll tell you that, Jerry. It's just It uh, is. I, I mean, I love watching them kids ride and show and get into these horses and stuff like that. I mean, it just... Zorro, right there, Zorro Jr. and Maxine Beasley for yeah. Beth Beasley, your amateur specialty. This is what tickled me, and she's done come back again. Yeah. Well, like on this right here, I've been watching her show ever since she was in the lead line. Yeah. Real little, and now she's, you know... A teenager now. They grow up quick. Yes. I was talking to Beth about the, I used to let, talk to some of the ladies that were the amateur division. They'd say, well, we're going to have to show against Dahlia Smith next year. I said, they're going to be saying that about your girls now. That's right. Here he is, Jose, it ain't so in R.M. Kelly for Jake Jacobs. He's standing at stud. Real nice Benedict. 715 bad stud fever. No, it ain't. Jose, it ain't so. He can do it all. Jake does a lot of nice string of horses. Oh, yeah, he does. That's a good show in Belfast. Yep. It was a real good show. Real good show. I thought. All right, now we're going to move on to Walking for Angels. That's another good show. Jose's King of Queens and Summer Brooks. I tell you what, she's got two outstanding horses. Yeah. Night Listener. Good horse. I know Dwight's proud of both of them. But now he's got a young lady that can flat ride them, too. That do help. Summer She sets that saddle good. All right, she's never been kissed. Like I've, I was, we Real had a long nice. conversation the other day about Kimberly Walden and her letting people ride her horses. Yes. I said, she let them kids ride, and, and that's, she is, she's an ambassador. Yeah. Now she is, she's an ambassador for the industry. Never been kissed in Kimberly Walden for Kimberly and Perry Walden. You know, she's always in the top three. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a nice little horse right there. Walks and shakes. And just That's do all you everything want. right. Big enough than Maxine Beasley. You put a horse under, she's ready to go, oh, yeah. isn't she? Youth pony winner. We got a lot of good ponies. This oh, year. yeah, they got a, real, a bunch of good ponies oh, out I there. Looking. I'm going to tell you, in general, Jerry, they got a bunch of just good horses out there. They really I mean, do. You, you just look at the, the, the horse shows and stuff like that, and the horses that have been in there. And I mean, the shows have been back to back, and every. Every time that you have a good horse, you have some good horse well, in the ring. There was a ton. There was, I think it was, 881. I think it was 500 at the money at the uh, Christmas in July. Let me see here. Right now, I tell you, right there, I sky nice. black. That's Ain't nothing nice wrong with that. Right. Nothing. I tell you, she was tickled to death with that ride. And that class right there, that, that show pleasure class, amateur and open, 
is a tough division. It is stacked to the hilt. Yeah. Right there is Skip the Line in Kimberly Walden. 861 horses showed last week during yeah. the 4th of July shows. I tell you what. And you know the thing about that is, maybe that's a hand few show back. Them all different horses that showed every weekend. When one show, one part of the we you ain't see him show no more of the different horses that showed. It was mostly different. That's what you I'm saying. I mostly. didn't I cannot remember one horse showing more than once. That's what I'm saying, but pretty much it's most of the different horses that showed. So I mean that's the Now some of the horses that showed in Belfast showed. But but that was two weeks ago. That was two weeks ago, but I'm talking about the whole fourth of July weekend that the, we had the horse show. Here's different a Super Bowl horses. MVP and BB Beasley. The Beasley twins getting it done. Yeah, they got some nice horses now. They do. And now they've done taking their mother's horses yeah. away from her. One of them trying her best to take one away from John Allen. <laughs> She's working on it. I like this horse right here. Oh, yeah. At four-year-old division, we saw two of the best four-year-olds there is this weekend. This one right here, Koufax. Yeah. P pretty, pretty sniffy. Pretty sniffy indeed. I know the, the owners are tickled with him. That's a nice horse. Yeah, he is. Blaze has done an outstanding job with that oh, yeah. horse. And here's Dim the Lights and Kayla Balkum for Rod and Sadie Parsons. We're putting together a celebration ad for this one that uh, I, I think is going to get some attention. Yeah. So that, that horse right there will show in the amateur and the open division. Uh -huh. That's a nice horse. Yeah, he is. Dim the Lights. Right here, I am the boss lady and Bob Adcock. This is an outstanding two-year-old mare, yeah. buddy. That's another class that's going to be tough. Yeah. The two and three-year-old both. This past week, I've seen some good two-year-olds come in there. They had that one class of two-year-old first time showing. Yep. That was, they had some good ones in that class, some tough ones. I want to tell you, we, we, they keep coming up with different classes to have. And I'm going to say, you yeah. haven't seen the, the best ones yet. You, we may not. Yeah. Now, that's a fact. We may not. Right here, John O. Reserve. I liked him, though. Yeah. Yeah, I did. He's a good horse. And Daniel does a terrific job of showing him. Right here, Walt for Roses and Kelly Clark. That was that was really for good. Clark and Brassy. A lot of people never realized who she was. I tell you, you put that blonde hair on her head right there, and she looked just like her mom. Just exactly like her. Yep. But I, she is. Uh, she's one of these. Now she's. She pretty much come out there, and she never said nothing. She just went to walking. Yeah. Nice horse. I mean, she she won her first World Grand Championship when she was 11. Yep. So she's ready for him. She is ready for him. Ready to go. Okay. Where are we at? Oh, we got to take a commercial break. We're under a time limit. You got to hurry. Oh, yeah. We'll be right back after these messages. Going too slow. <laughs> 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 
Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is the offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, that, I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse. But I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now, for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. What does Habitat for Humanity build? Hope. Opportunity. Joy and togetherness. Growth and transformation. Strength and stability. Community. Home. Hey everybody, I'm Garth Brooks. And I'm Trisha Irwin. And nothing illustrates the beauty of what we can build together, like Habitat for Humanity. A safe, decent, affordable place to call home is a canvas full of possibility. In our work with Habitat, we've seen what's possible. Financial stability, peace of mind, room to grow and play, better health, brighter futures. In your community and around the world right now, neighbors are helping neighbors build masterpieces of their own. Visit Habitat.org to learn more and get involved today. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. All righty. We are headed to Christmas in July. God, that was hoping. 500 entries. Oh, yeah. Did you ever get you any ice cream peaches? Yeah, it was good. Was it good? It was good. I ate the ice cream. I didn't eat the ice cream peaches, but I did. It was good. I did have to have a little ice cream. It melted before I could eat it. I tell you, they had some <laughs> big hamburgers there, too. They, hey. they fed you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they did, they did some real good. Yeah. Here we go. Christmas in July. Right here is first night out in Alley Joe Jacobs. For Gregory and Jacobs, Country Pleasure Youth, 11 and under. This is getting to be a popular class. Yeah. That's first night out in the Alley Joe Jacobs. Your youth, 11 and under, Country Pleasure winner. The Brad Gregory family of Franklin, Kentucky on the entry. First night out in the Alley Joe Jacobs. Congratulations. Alley Joe, just as long as she's riding, she don't care. You see that birthday cake they got her? Oh yeah, I seen that. Look, look like a wedding cake. Uh huh. Lord, the kid loves to ride. Right here, Dark Rain and Taylor Walters. I like this horse better every time I see him. Yeah. Edgar has that horse's number. Edgar Abernathy, trainer, Abernathy Stables. But now, buddy, when he comes in, he's locked in, his head shaking, head up high, getting it done. Mm-mm-mm. 
right here is me and Pocahontas aged Mary Gill. This was reserved. Lord, I don't see how this was. This horse made one well of a show. Me and Pocahontas, I really like that horse. Oh yeah, it's a real nice horse. Tell you what, we got some of the top mares in the industry. Yeah. And I mean, they're out there showing, but getting it done. Here's your age stallions. This was a good class. Oh, it is a good class. What surprised everybody is when they looked up and they saw old Troubadour. Yeah. Old Troubadour and Tyler Balkum took the blue. Right there he is. For Allison Armstrong, Nino's Category 5, and John Allen Calloway for Dr. Barbara March. Grind Time Charlie. And Hayden Burks for Chucky Gertner. And Hellcat 707 Blaze Picard for Duke Ingram. Finished out the ribbons. What Troubadour came back oh, yeah. looking good, didn't he? They said they're not going to counter him this year. They're going to leave him yeah. like he is because of the problems that they had in the past and let him wait. He's still got years that he'll be able to show anyway. I'll tell you what, there are people out there screaming for him, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Holes. He covers some ground when he's yeah. walking too, doesn't he? Old there he is, old Troubadour and Tyler Balkum for Allison Armstrong. Boy, he looks good. Good horse. Now make Real a good horse. He's going to make a U-turn come right back at him. Yeah. Tell you what, he's... Allison's got a reason to be proud of him now. Oh, yeah. You can sing that George Strait music. Right here is your youth show pleasure. I'm going to make his statement. Horse. She came in there showing her horse and never let up, buddy. She went at oh, it. Yeah. I'm Coach Cal and Allie Joe Jacobs was won the class. Wired in line, Kelsey Wright was reserved. Annie's line with cash, Chloe McSwain. Well armed American, Reese Abernathy. I'm Jose Jr., Corbin Parker. Nine Dangerous Yards, Mary Frances Way, National Hero, Dylan Jackson, and Gridiron Star, Riley Anderson, finished out the ribbons. But I'm here to tell you, that was a tough class, but oh, yeah. nothing easy about it. But like I said, Allie Joe come through the gate riding and she never let up. You know, the funny thing about this, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right on this, Coach Cal, I am Jose, and Jose ain't so. You know what all of them got common? What? Same all of them the same age, and all of them be sure against each other as a two-year-old, three-year-old was campaigning yeah, right. to win in the, the celebration. Mm. Callaway right. had Coach Cal. Let him walk out. There are some good ones. Yep. 
Dave was amazing. I watch how small Allie Joe is and how big these horses oh, yeah. are. That's what amazes me. Mm -hmm. But she just keeps going after him. She never let up. I wouldn't have been able to stood it down on that rail. There she is. I'm Coach Cal and Allie Joe for Jake and Allie Joe Jacobs. Good horse there. Yeah, dust dust died down a little bit for the victory pass. Yeah. Got to take my hat off to Jake Jacobs Construction too, because they they got that track wetted down right quick. Didn't take them long. Yeah. All right, amateur, amateur specialty. You can't ask for nothing no better than this. No. Manning, Molly, and Taylor Walker. Now that that's that's the three musketeers. Oh yeah, you were exactly right on that. They do great now. And I, I like to see mother and daughter out there getting it done. But move over, we're coming through. Nice horse. Yes, it is. Tell you what, Molly, now, now they have some good horses. Oh, yeah, they have some good horses. Both of them. And right here, Twisted with Honors and Allison Armstrong. She was tickled with that one. You couldn't ask for anything better. That's one woman that I can tell you I admire for, because of everything she did for Troubadour. Oh, yeah. But now she loves her horses. Yep. Now, here's what you was talking about, them two-year-olds. Yeah. First-timers right here. Bill Calloway won the, the class on Spotlight on Jose for Bob Adcock. I'm going to tell you, he's a good one. Yes, he is. I'm going to tell you another one. Give you Coach Hills. He was yeah. right in there. Clay Sanderson made a great show. That's Jerry and Becky Mides horse. Night horse, Steve Beam, Bob and Sudie Reed. Jenny it is, Troy Richards for Betty Rendiger. I thought that horse made the show yep. for Troy. I did too. I'm all over. Kayla Balkum, Carolyn, Carolina Equine Farms and McGee. Jen's Blackhawk, Bobby Bradley, German Eye. Elijah Leverett and Jackie Chu, Tanner Burks, finished out the ribbons. Tell me about it. That, yeah. that was a tough class that now. That was a tough class. Class like that's when I don't want to be involved in yeah. getting, judging it. But so, I thought Bill's horse was real good now. Oh, it was. Yeah, was. He was excellent. I mean, if you watch that horse, it's like he's been in the show ring all his life. That's right, right there, there he is. He just kept getting he better. Kept getting better and better. That's going to be another one for Bob to show yep. him good in there. Well, he told me, he said, yeah, he said, we might both show him. Yeah. And reverse. I'll tell you what, now, he, he doesn't miss a lick. No, that's a good of a coach. Kayla made some good shows yes. this weekend. They're just some good horses. Yeah. And for first time in the show ring, you couldn't beat that group of horses right there. Uh -huh.
That's when the trainer shows up and says, well, maybe I can yeah. slip in there and get me a rib. And he shows up and says, where'd all these good ones come from? Yeah. That was a lineup now, I'm telling you. Spotlight on Jose. Bill Calloway from Bob Adcock takes the blue. Everybody's watching him. Yep, I spotted that horse when he first come in the ring, and I was just something about that horse. When you, you just watch him, and he, he's going to get in your mind. He's a work now. Gets it done. I know Bill's t tickled with him, and I know Bob Adcock really likes him. Right here, your lead line winner, the queen, Lanny Leverett, and leading Lanny is none other than Mandy Leverett. That was, that was a good class right there. No, I think was. both of them kids done a, a super job out there. They did. They Lee. did. The judge picked this one. Yeah. But we got, when you start looking this year, there is a bunch in the lead line now. Oh, yeah. I take my head off to all them kids out there showing. Well, you got to, because all them kids, they work hard, but look at that little girl sitting up there. Yeah. And she's doing exactly what she's, she's a, supposed to do. She's a, a, a pretty little girl. Well, I'd be, on that class, I'd be more for judging the kids than yeah. I would the horse anyway. Right here's Gorel, Samantha Green, and Jeremy Williams, your Pro-Am winner. That's, that's another good horse hey. right there. Samantha and Jeremy does good with that, with that horse right there. They that did class. fantastic. No doubt about it. They did real good. Exceptionally well. It always makes you smile when your son, your kids can make good shows like that. Well, I tell you what, he's getting that one done. Looking good doing it. Right here, amateur mare and gilding. We can sit here and talk about this oh, yeah. mare all day long. She's limitless and Molly Walters. I needed to ask her, I got a text message or a Facebook message asking me if they had done any embryos on She's Limitless. I don't know. In a way, I would think they probably have, but then you don't know if they have yeah. or not. I need to ask her. But I tell you what, I know there's a lot of people probably lined up asking for one. Yeah. That's a one great mare. Oh, yeah. A mighty gin. Right here's a mighty gin. That's another good horse right there. Called Mike. He said, call me for a victory pass. I said, Mike, if, if the horse got eighth or ninth, I wouldn't call you. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> when you win him, you advertise. That's it. Our good buddy, Don Collins, used to say, I got second tonight. I don't have to advertise. <laughs> That's a good horse that right is there. A real good horse. I like a real him. Good horse. He's going to be there. He's only yep. three. Yeah, that's right. I mean, three that years old, so think about it. Okay, let's see where we're at now. I think we got to go to the money tree. Yes. See, we got plenty of video. Right there, Ali Joe wins the equitation. That's one thing that she works hard at. Yeah. You know, they drive her up to uh, Kentucky a couple times a week for her to work under Lee. The parents have to work about as hard as the youngster does when yeah. you're when you're trying to do that equitation because it's not people can think what they want to. But that's pretty hard. Oh, and right is. here, I'm telling you, I fell in love with this horse. Honey Bee and Taylor Walters. That's about as good as you're going to get yeah. right there. That is one great mare. My Honey Bee. I told him, boy, she had her buzzing, and she oh, yeah. did. That is so good right there.
Molly has to be proud of that one. I would be. And here's Cole Hahn and Allie Joe Jacobs, your youth 11 under winner. I weekend. tell you what, that, like I always say, she's an all-around rider. She can ride the Western, equitation, in, you know, performance. She sticks with all of yeah. it now. That's for sure. I tell you, there's a lot of the kids that learn the different things and have to, how to ride which, you know, different type know of it. horse, you know. So I tell you, a real rider right there that can do that. Cole Hahn, Allie Joe. Uh, there's Cavender and Knox uh, Blackman. He was a good hey. son of a gun. He was outstanding. I knew he was going to be good the first time I saw him. You know where he showed the first time? Where? Thor Sports. Okay. Sure did. Sure did. Showed Thor Sports as a two year old. But now he's, he's, he's a good horse now. Yes, he is. Got a good canter. Yeah, and he's got it all. That's what I mean. That yeah. four-year-old class ain't gonna be no walkthrough. Right here is Black Jen Scouting <laughs> Megan Hammond for Shamrock Farms. Megan wanted to make sure people knew yeah. that she dedicated this win to Epic. Oh, that really, Mike said that really hurt her, what happened yeah. to Epic. So she dedicated this win to Epic. And I tell you, that class, that was clean a good out, class. Road clean out of her roses on it. Yeah. Evidently, she dropped that one on the way out for Epic. Boy, she can flat ride a horse. Yes. She gets it done. Amateur stallions. Now look at it. Here's the class. A gin to win. And Kendra Myers took the blue. Good Samaritan, Pam Russell, reserve. Maroon 5, Dr. Jim Bomb. The Iron Door, Sarah Coffee Burks. Can I get an amen? Mary Ellen Wright. Really, Coach, Allie Gibson. And my major ordeal, Debbie Eichler finished out the ribbons. That was a lineup yeah. of some good, good horses. horses. That's right. Real good horses. There's Kendra, boy. She oh, yeah. can, that young lady can ride. Don't get in her way. I thought Debbie I could make a good show out oh, yeah. there on the major ordeal. There's your winner. A gin to win in Kendra Myers for Sherry Roberts. Amateur stallion winner. Boy, that's a pretty horse. That is a pretty horse. And a good horse. She's about to lose her roses too. Oh, she's riding one hand down, grabbing them roses. Right here, open specialty. This right here is hard to beat. Warbird. Ryan Blackburn for Ginger Williams took the blue. Tua, Knox Blackburn, Freak Keith and Lorraine Rosberry. The Great I Am, Tyler Bar Balkum for the Mark Ricker family. Joe Paul, Winky Grover for Shane Porterfield. And Honor and Ritz, Mike Hanna 
for Keith McSwain finished out the ribbons. That warbird's a bad cat. Oh yeah, he is. They went to a bunch of good horses in there. Joe Paul was in there. They're winking at Joe Paul. Oh, he had a bunch of good horses in that class. I tell you, you get to watching this, watching this class on this TV right here, and I mean, you get to, but get to go to talking. And, you, <laughs> I know. They get, to, they get <laughs> good. <laughs> That's one thing about doing this when we do it. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't like a script. I never yeah. have. I mean, you get but to, you get to watching them walk. You get to walk. Yeah, you get to say you, something. You nice. to say something. <laughs> but all of them good. You know, everyone you see on there is. Hey, it's a tough class now. Yeah. Had 222 entries. They all them horses are nice horses. Yeah. There. Well, you take one of these other Saturday night shows. Any one of these could have won. That's right. You're exactly right in there. Warbird and Ryan Blackburn for Ginger Williams. Open specialty winner. Good class. And I tell you, when you win a class like that, and it got so many good horses in the ring, makes you, you feel, feel like good. make you feel real makes good. Make you feel ten times better. They're, that's right, because, like you say, it's that's competition right there. Well, I do not like a one horse class blue ribbon. That's yeah. like just beating the air. That's right. Now, right here, Mr. True Blue and R.M. Kelly for the Jacobs family. You walk in horse state class winner. He put on a wet. Now oh, yeah. that was that was a tough class there. Wasn't my three horses in it, but now I'm telling you, it was three good ones. And Mr. True Blue come out on top. He's good right there. Uh, he's gonna be standing over there at stud at Spencer's too. Here, Mark One and Jimmy McConnell for Molly Walters. He made an outstanding show. And you know, I'm visualizing this, but I can just about see Molly sitting on him. Yeah. But I've always liked that horse right there. He's good, and Jake and I talked about him. Yeah. He's just a good horse. One good horse. Yep. All right, that finished us out for the ones in Shelbyville. Now we got to go to Woodbury, but I believe we got to take a break first. Yeah. That's up to you. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Can't believe you're doing this alone. I've done it before. I remember you threw your back out. <laughs> How you holding up? How me that board. Nothing wrong with getting help. I'm good. I did it when Felicia left. I'll figure it out. I know you will, but you don't have to do it alone. That's all I'm saying. If I promise to look into it, will you drop it and help me build this fence? <laughs> now you need my help. It can be a real pain sometimes, you know what? Mm -hmm. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five world grand championships, one world grand championship, and the reserve world grand championship as well. Minor Ordeal, a major win here in the two-year-old division, our world grand champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal. 
six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. An estimated 11 million Americans have heart valve disease, but most of us know little to nothing about it. People can be born with valve problems, or they can develop from cardiovascular disease, infections, certain cancer treatments, and age, with older adults at the highest risk. If diagnosed early, it can usually be successfully treated, no matter what your age. Valve disease can cause a number of symptoms, including lightheadedness, irregular heartbeat, shortness of breath, tiredness, swelling of the ankles and feet, and not feeling like yourself in general. But is often only detected when your heart is listened to by a healthcare professional. So listen to your heart. See your healthcare professional. Discuss your risk factors and any potential symptoms. And go to valvediseaseday.org to learn more. More of What a Horse coming up. All righty. It was in question, but it got started. The Woodbury Show, yep. what was two hours? Has it, it was postponed for till 6.30. Yeah. And at one time, they had 189 horses entered. But I know some went. They ended up with 139 that showed. But uh, they had their horse show and had oh, a yeah. good one. Have some good they horses good in show. there. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and start with the Woodbury Lions Club. Right here is quite an honor. I want you to look there. That's yeah. Maxine. But you know, she, she is, I told Beth, that kid, it, it just, she, she's a horse person. She gets it done. And I tell you, these horses right here done a, a terrific job in the situation that they was in at yeah. this horse show. Because the warm-up area, you hardly couldn't get the warm-up like you need to because it was almost flooded with water. And the track was was real rough well, out I, there. I, but I mean, but these, but the horses that done that showed, they done a good job for the situation oh, yeah. they was in. Right here's the Paddock Master and Dahlia Smith Harp, the amateur ladies, Marion Gildin winner. I mean, going to the warm up, going to the ring to get inspected, you had to go through almost a foot of mud and water to I get know. there. I know it was bad up there. Yeah. But I will say this they, they had their show. They you can tell right. how muddy it is by looking at the horse's feet. Yeah. But the horses look good. Yeah, I they thought. did. That's what I'm saying. But that just tell you how what kind of horse you have. That's don't, it. Don't make no difference how the track is. I, they still do good. I am Mighty Jose and Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield. Shane's got some good horses. Yeah, Shane got some real good horses. Nice ones. It's a good show. Yeah. There he is. I am Mighty Jose. I look for Shane to show him. Quite oh, yeah. Bit. I really do. Amateur, especially. Now, they had this listed as a canter class, but it wasn't. It was a specialty. Zorro yeah. Jr. and Maxine Beasley took the blue for Beth Beasley. I'll tell you what, Maxine can flat ride. She gets it done. I tell you, you don't like nobody right there on the rail. Everybody had to sit back because that mud and water was splashing when everybody was right there. <laughs> That's the it. And right here, honor and remember in Dan Waddell. That was a nice horse. For Kim Lewis, he was. Now, 
look, made a great show. Yeah. Mud and all. He got in there and he got it done. Honor and remember. Hey, what? That's a that's a good. We have we're blessed with a bunch of good horses. horses that's right. Good walking horses. And that right there can flat get it. But that finished out our weekend. Yep. We had a ton of horses, 870-something horses showed over the weekend. So let's see, it was uh, 500 at uh, Monday at uh, Christmas in July, 222 at uh, Money Tree, and 139 entered the ring I in tell Woodbury. You, that, was a, that was a good week right there, horse showing. Hey, everybody had a good time. Yep. Everybody come home safe. I didn't hear any accidents which is a blessing in yes. itself because there was some late nights. Yes, that's very late nights. That's <laughs> rough on the, well, it was rough on the owners, rough on the horses, worth real bad on the trainer. Yeah. I mean, y'all, y'all, what, get a couple hours of sleep? sleep? Yeah, I had to be back, back in the morning, it. 7 o'clock, back riding and, and doing it again. Feeding. I'm glad that was you and not me. <laughs> I like to, I'm, I came up here early every morning, but just, I don't know about getting out there and eating hay and feed and water and, and clean stalls and, and checking and hauling manure. And yeah. Might have planted some tomatoes, but <laughs> next year I'm figuring I'm going to get you to help me that week. Jerry. You Come ain't up. got enough money, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will I will quit. You say, where did my help go? <laughs> as soon as you turn your back, he hit the gate. He was gone. Said so you could hear him going down the highway. <laughs> I tell you what, we're going to take a week off, but we will have a show next week. And then we're going to go to Conersville and War Trace. War Trace, yeah. So looking forward to it. Looking forward to it, too. Everybody have a good 4th of July. And we'll see y'all next week. Everybody be safe out there. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat. So they say, I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, uh, please start talking.